Hey guys, Doug here with Motion, back with another Tech Tip Tuesday. And today we are gonna talk about a topic that uh, some people ask about, especially people who are building new builds. And that is plumbing for the cold side on a uh, turbocharger boosted application. If you have noticed, these intercooler top style intakes have become really popular. And the reason why is the reason why we're doing a tech tip today. So when you're laying out the cold side or laying out a turbo setup in general, a lot of times the hot side is the most complicated because you're trying to get the headers out and you're trying to get the downpipes out. The downpipes are really big and the headers are complicated. So the cold side is usually quite an afterthought. But the reason why these are uh, popular is because in a cold side, a lot of people don't really think of them in terms of horsepower and boost, but every 90 degree bend, give or take a little bit, is about a pound of boost. And uh, if you're familiar with building a boosted application, uh, a pound of boost can be horsepower, a uh, decent amount of horsepower. So, you know, if you have a bunch of extra bends that are unnecessary in a system, you're robbing boost and robbing horsepower. And uh, on something like this, this is gonna be a gasoline engine, uh, not ethanol or methanol. And uh, we've tested out these shear intercoolers and they'll keep, you know, on my Nova, they kept at 1500 to the tires. I think the intake air temps were like 101 or something like that, uh, which is extremely low for uh, something making that much horsepower in such a small intercooler, they're really efficient. And because they're right here, we're not having to fish intercooler piping all over, um, which is big for horsepower. That's also another draw of the methanol cars because in, on a methanol boosted car, you're going right to the intake. So you usually have very little bends. So you'll see a lot of people changing over to these and they make a lot of horsepower, they're really efficient. And uh, the nice thing about these all in one is they're very low profile. So you can fit them under a lot of hoods if you get a short intake to put them on top of and then you have very little bends to lose horsepower on. So very efficient. They make a lot of horsepower uh, comparatively to something that runs all the way inside the car and all the way back. And uh, if it, you know, if the horsepower and boost you're looking to make is capable to be controlled by uh, that style of an intercooler, it's definite advantage. As far as my personal preference on gasoline versus methanol, this is a street car. So I prefer to just run gasoline you need way less fuel pump um, than ethanol, especially methanol. Um, ethanol takes about 30% more fuel. Methanol takes about double the amount of fuel. So way less expensive of a fuel system and the maintenance is so much lower than on a methanol car. A methanol car, the injectors need to be serviced often. They dry out fittings and O-rings and hoses. You know, you have to change the oil a lot more often. So this is a great alternative if you're building your first combo and it's decent horsepower range that an air-to-air -air intercooler can't do for you or control, um, definitely look at these air-to-water intercools. Less piping and less bends means more horsepower and it simplifies the overall combo. So if you aren't familiar with these intercoolers, basic concept is it's, it's an intercooler that would either be on your passenger seat or in the front. Water goes in through the core and cools the core and then air goes in through it, basically just like a radiator, but we're putting ice water in it so we ultra cool that air charge. Another awesome part is it makes your piping really simple to make. Uh, we made this in a couple hours. Should be all done and uh, ready to go. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope this educated you on why you see a lot of people switch into these. There's definitely horsepower to be picked up by shorter piping and less bends. It definitely simplifies the combo. We'll catch you next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. Drop us an idea in the comment section below if you have any ideas for our future Tech Tip Tuesday. We'll see you later.